Hello, my soccer universe. I wanted to prime you for the new Champions League season. Another the group stage starts, and we are fully into it. I mean, you know, I did everything on the draw, so it got blocked. Um, and on the, uh, you know, a qualification round, let's talk about how the group stages are supposed to shape up, who are the favorites, and what's the first set of games. This light is driving me crazy. Unfortunately, I don't have a different one at the moment so please bear with me flickering back and forth um, as i said the video on the draw got blocked so let's run through the draw one more time and i'll give you my group by group brief breakdown uh, we're starting here the first four groups uh, as you can see i have uh, the standings and these are now ranked by the pods so the top team is demo from pot one then top pot two pot three pot four you, still, uh, you will have then the goal average up there and then I, all the way to, to the right. I mean, everything in the middle, no game played and so, and so on. All those colors don't matter much except all the way to the left. Let's do that first. Uh, we have, of course, that green means you go on in the Champions League and orange means you go to the Europa League. That's simple. But then we have three no, uh, chances numbers. The first one is reaching the top two places, ne meaning reaching the knockout stage. The second one is winning the group, and the third one is winning it all in the Champions League. And basically, as we will see, the jerseys are here arranged in the order uh, of who are the favorites. So we see already in Group A, we have the big fav favorites, Bayern Munich are in there. They have a 9% chance of winning it all, are clearly the wants a uh, favor to get out of this group with an 83% chance making it to knockout stages over 50% of making it uh, winning the group. Atletico Madrid also on but I'm surprised that Salzburg is in there. This is uh, one of a few really really tight groups. I mean there's usually one where there's a huge favorite but here for second spot although I don't quite see it with Salzburg uh, being from Austria. Uh, yes they're a great team but I don't quite see it. Uh, they are given relatively good chance and no chance to lock Moscow at all. Um, group B, it's Real Madrid and Inter, and then, yeah, a battle for the Europa League spot between Schachter and Gladbach. Um, I have not seen much of Schachter as of late, the last time I saw them was when the Europa League, where they actually were quite good. Uh, Gladbach has not been very convincing as of now, so yeah. Um, I probably would go along with that. I give Inter actually a decent chance if they can pull it together, uh, given how Real Madrid are at the moment. Group C has a, another one with a clear, clear favorite and a battle for second place. So Manchester City should walk through this group and as maybe it's for Porto and Olympiacos. Marseille gets a really bad rating. So I'm, I'm, I want to see I, how this will actually go because I could see Marseille also little bit challenging in there. Group D is the one for the Romantics. I mean, uh, this is all attacking sides going going forward. We have Ajax in there, we have Liverpool in there. Uh, now without Van Dijk, I'll do the uh, review video soon. Uh, we have Atalanta in there and we have Midtjylland in there. Um, yes, these chances don't take yet into account all these in injuries. Maybe Liverpool chances will drop a little bit, but Liverpool still has enough quality to win that group. But I actually think I like Atalanta in this group a lot. I think I would not even uh, pull it beyond them of winning it. And they have actually 24% chance of winning that group. That's not that little. Um, so let's see, I think it's... Uh, um, Midtjylland is one team that can surprise. I think their way of playing, uh, but I think it might be too soon. Um, I also don't trust Ajax quite that well, so I think it's a, it will be pretty clear that Liverpool and At At Atalanta will go through in that one. Um, groups E and Groups F, uh, Groups E, let's go to Group E, what I'm saying. Uh, Sevilla and Chelsea, and the rest is, is kind of cannon fodder. Uh, Krasnodar is a debutant, Ren is a debutant. Um, I know Ren has a lot of talented players. But they have not, you know, they started well, but then they have not been really setting the league alight. And the last draw against Dijon, hmm, let's see about that. So I would I would agree, Sevilla and Chelsea, probably Chelsea, there will be goals scored in that one. I am pretty sure about that because Chelsea leaks, and, but they have a lot of offensive power. Group F. <laughs> uh, 
you have two of the most right-wing teams in there with Zenit and La Lazio that have uh, even similar jerseys and then Dortmund who tries to position itself exactly on the other side. So, I mean, from a political perspective, this is already interesting. Dortmund, yes, a clear fa fa favorites. And then I would even put Zenit ahead of Lazio. I would agree with that. Uh, and then Club Rouge seems relatively even to, 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 to the bottom. Uh, Group G is even uh, more... Uh, clear than Group E was, Juve and Barcelona should walk through this group, don't underestimate Dynamo Kiev. Um, I'm sorry Ferenc Varos, I don't see you challenging any of these, although I thought about this with Slavia Prague last season around and then they played a nil-nil at the camp now. And then a last one that is really even, PSG, Man United and Leipzig, Bajakshi here is in the terrible form at, at, at the moment, so they will be true cannon fodder in there, I would not expect anything else. But the top three will fight for two spots. And yeah, United might end up in the Europa League. So that's how I see it. Now, of course, you ask, we have now all these numbers. Would, would it be nice to have them all in one table? Well, glad you asked. Here we have them sorted by the chances of winning. And we have the top favorites of Bayern Munich little bit ahead of Manchester City, 9% nine, 9 each roughly, then Barcelona, Liverpool, PSG, Real Madrid, and mm, no, uh, PSG, they're all with 8%, then there's a little drop already from Real Madrid, Dor Dortmund, Chelsea, Atletico, Leipzig, you see already here it goes, here it drops all a little bit off. I was a little bit surprised that the Italian teams are not ranked uh, that highly, but on the other side I, un I understand it. Also, because Juve is not the force that they used to be, and we have to see about the others. Um, it's interesting to see the uh, top 20 round up the Porto, Ajax, and Gladbach, um, and also Atalanta being in the top, 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 top 20. That's actually a pretty nice thing. So, let's see the next round. Uh, the first round we start off with Zenit, and the Russian teams always will get one. The Russian Ukrainian teams, you always get an early key kick off. So, with Zenit against Club Rouge and Dynamo Kiev against Juve, already a pretty decisive game. And you know, Juve also not that started. I think there's a draw in there. I would have to say that two big clashes on the is, is Chelsea Sevilla and of course PSG Man United. I think those are two really, really, really interesting games. Um, the rest, Lazio, Dortmund sounds maybe better than it will will be. It's Giro Immobile's return to the Westfalen Stadion, so that will be interesting. And then on Wednesday, Bayern Atleti. Bayern Atleti, I think that's it. Then again, the Romantics will love Ajax against Liverpool, which probably should have been the Champions League final two years ago, if we are honest. Uh, Inter Gladbach, there was something in the 70s, 71. In, uh, Gladbach beat Inter 7-1 in the first leg, that was, uh, but it was cancelled because a tin hit Boninzenia. One of those crazy, and then Inter did everything to exploit it and they actually then lost in the final to Ajax. Uh, yeah, I think that's also rather an interesting one in there. So yeah. Let me know how you agree with my probabilities in this setting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'll be watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.